Detective. But I think that your getting past this first part is going to be more your difficult, way. you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like out in the open. See what we got. I think we got to be more, a little more aggressive. I got that DPS, baby. Serious trauma detected. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, got him. Wait a minute. No, I did not clear that that fast, bro. No way. that today boy seasoned division player then these three topics are always discussed. The game is dead. We need new content or there are no more builds to make. Well two of those statements are false and the statement about there being no new builds to make is not one of them. For me during times like these when the game is in this particular state it gets boring. That's a fact. But what does one do when bored? They think of build ideas and combinations never drawn up before. Fresh is what I call this, and I know what you may be thinking. This is nothing new. You're using a stinger hive. <laughs> oh boy, you have no idea what I have prepared for you. A skill build with a weapon damage equivalent to a DPS. The playstyle of a hybrid and a fun factor of something fresh. New. And before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe too. Now just sit back and listen, because you're in for a treat. I'm not going to waste your time any longer. Let me tell you exactly why this is new to me. I mean, I've never seen it before. It starts with the Stinger Hive. And when you think of the Stinger Hive, naturally you want it to inflict the most amount of bleed damage you can, right? Skill damage, status effects. Well, that is not my goal here. With this build, the bleed is secondary. One thing about using the Hive is that stacking status effects is not the only method needed to maximize damage. In PvP, the Hive can be hard countered by people using hazard protection, especially those bulwark Liberty Pistol builds. In PvE, using the Hive against Chungas, Mechanical Dogs, high health enemies in general can be a pain. You don't have enough DPS because you're a pure skill build, and a Stinger Hive is just not enough. 
because the main focus is on bleed when you're trying to penetrate the armor. So I wanted to actually use the hive in a way that cannot be countered so easily. Plus, the way it was originally intended to deal damage is actually from the stinger drones themselves. And do you know what type of damage that is? Explosive damage. Which is why even if you have 100% bleed resistance, the hive's initial damage still hurts you. Now I need you to pay attention because this build is no joke. It's a skill build, but as I said, carries the weapon damage of a DPS. That's mainly due to the capacitor, you know that, right? The only assault rifle with the damage to armor stat, which is exclusive to shotguns. It increases my weapon damage by 7.5% for each skill tier I have. It also increases my skill damage up to 40% for shooting enemies. It doesn't matter what the secondary is because you're not going to use it for real. But for your sidearm, the card custom fits just right because this is a five tier skill build and with it you'll have a chance to pull out your sidearm here and there to get that extra skill tier for my gear pieces i wanted to combine explosive damage with other damage bonuses on the build the fox's prayer knee pads amplifies all that damage together not to mention that explosive damage is amplified as well but in order to get this build composition you want all the gear pieces that grant explosive damage two piece group osambra and one piece china light I'm a huge fan of the door kicker's knock named chess piece with perfect spark. I do have a group of chess piece with spotter which will give me more damage but I wouldn't be able to utilize it because I'm using a capacitor therefore I can't attach the link laser. But perfect spark is really great for this also. This talent grants 15% weapon damage after damaging enemies with a skill. And the talent flows so well with the backpack talent I'm using. It's my second piece of grupo and I've had this backpack for so long never knew what i would do with it until now but its talent is shocking all applying a status effect to an enemy increases skill damage and repair by 20 percent for 27 seconds and i don't even think this has a cooldown so you could just proc it right back again here's why this and perfect spark flow so well together applying skill damage grants weapon damage applying a status effect grants skill damage so you'll be gaining more skill and weapon damage once a skill is used but what makes this build so deadly is its ability to shred through armor with the explosive damage that applies to the stinger drones. And with these exotic BTSU gloves, your hive is almost never on cooldown. They changed these gloves functionality a while ago, and now they can only be used with hive skill variants. They are absolutely insane with the stinger. First of all, you get 15% skill haste for each skill tier you have. And since I have five, that's 75%, but you can more than double that with the BTSU gloves once you detonate the hive before it's depleted. It'll reset your skills and send them in overcharge. You can see for yourself the bonuses that provides. Make sure that when you put this build together to find the pieces that have crit chance and damage rolled, then apply crit damage mods. Now, the other skill I'm using depends on how I feel. The shrapnel trap is extremely overpowering with this build, but I had more fun with the explosive sticky bomb. It gives a little bit more of a challenge and there's a way I'm able to use two stickies back to back. Here's the formula. Use the sticky bomb first, then throw the stinger hive out and immediately detonate it to automatically reset your skills and send them in overcharge. Your next sticky bomb will be stupid strong, but the radius is so vast you can easily kill yourself, so be careful. I've done it a few times. Meanwhile, your stinger hive is recharging so fast that it's almost instant. Then after throwing it out on the battlefield, the radius fills the whole area. The cooldown for this overcharge is two minutes. I'm gonna wrap this up in a second, but I consider this an explosive DPS build primarily. And usually with explosive builds, it's suggested to use things like the seeker mines, the mortars, you know, obvious choices, but seldom do I see the stinger hive used with a build like this. It makes for a different way to play that's both fun and effective. Let me tell you something. I don't upload builds unless I know that they perform as intended efficiently at that. So I implore you to make this build and use it to see for yourself how good it works. Before you head out, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. It really helps my growth. And of course, I love to see this build shared with as many people as possible. I'll see you in my next video. Be right out.